What is going on friends? Snapshot 22W17A here and this week we have some very exciting changes to goats. First of all, goats now will drop the goat horn. Also down in the deep dark we have some changes to the warden as well, making it even more perilous because of course that's exactly what we needed, but the warden does now have a special drop. But this is... this is... Odd. This is not my skin. I do not know where my skin is currently, but for some reason I am not currently in my normal skin. But what is going on guys? Welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are taking a look at the brand new 22W17A snapshot where goats will now ram into uh, things near their spawn, hard items such as logs or stone, and drop goat horns. Now I set up some logs and stone here hoping the goats would ram them while doing this intro, but unfortunately they did not. But we will go into the creative menu and take a look at the new goat horns that are available. Goat horns are super cool. There are eight different types of them and each one will make a different noise. Four of the types of goat horns come specifically from screaming goats, which is going to make it a little more difficult to get, but I'm sure people will come up with ways in order to farm these goat horns. You can see the eight different types here. Each one has their own name and will produce a different sound. Uh, they all sound pretty cool, all like different types of horns, and I'm really hoping that they actually have some form of use later on in the game. <laughs> So those are the eight goat horn sounds that we have gotten in this update. I'm really hoping that these have a use later on in the game. I think it would be really cool if these were connected maybe to the pillager attacks and we have something with that, or even if it was something to do with the portal that is down in the ancient cities. Honestly, there's a lot of different options that they could explore with these goat horns later on. I'm really hoping that they don't just stay in the game as a simple item that you use to make a sound. While that is cool and it is interesting that uh, the goats now have another use, I would really love to see them have a real use in turn with the either pillagers or maybe even the portal. If Mojang has a better idea than that, I am all for it. I just really want to see some sort of use come out of these. Besides being able to get these goat horns from actual goats ramming into blocks, you also should be able to find some of these goat horns while exploring pillager outposts. Next up, we return to the ancient city to see some of the new features of the Warden. One of those new features is a brand new drop from the Warden, which sounds super exciting, but is not super exciting. All it's going to do is drop a skull block. You're not going to get anything from the Warden. They've made it pretty clear that they're not going to give the Warden any unique drop, so really I wouldn't expect any more past just getting that skull block. And to specify, it is a Skulk Catalyst that you'll be getting specifically from the Skulk family, but still, it's not worth it to fight the Warden just for that block. But the Warden has also had some changes to its attack, specifically the ranged attack that they introduced in the last snapshot. A lot of people were like, okay, this ranged attack is not difficult to deal with because all you have to do is put up a shield. Well, now they have made it so that this ranged attack is going to bypass shield and armor, so it's really not even going to be beneficial to try to cheese the Warden by towering up. You are still going to get obliterated by the Warden. 
but they did change the actual damage that it did. Instead of dealing 30 damage, it's now going to deal 10 damage. This is still going to be detrimental to your health, and you're still going to want to avoid the Warden. I was wearing full Netherite armor here, but because armor doesn't matter, it simply just took up half of my health. You can also see the brand new message that they have added in as well was obliterated by a sonically charged shriek. I think that's a great death message to get. Hopefully I never see it in my hardcore world. You might have also noticed that the warden pretty much immediately fired a second sonic charge at me and that is because they reduced the recharge time from, for that from 5 seconds to 2 seconds. So you're really going to want to avoid these sonic attacks because they're going to come very quick and kill you very fast. I think the change where it bypasses armor makes the warden a little too lethal especially with the quick recharge rate as well. I think they kind of need to pick between the very fast recharge rate and the bypassing armor, while I do still believe that it should bypass the shield just so you can't cheese it that way. That is pretty much all the time that we have for today, today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We cover all the snapshots, some amazing Minecraft worlds, and if you have your own Minecraft world you want to submit to us, send it into our Discord or to our email, which is in the About section of our channel. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.